three top chefs. Each with just 30 minutes to create a three course menu for a table of complete strangers. Whose meal will most appeal? And who will win the glorious golden trophy? This is 30 Minute Menu. On the banks of the beautiful Brisbane River lies Alchemy. It's one of Australia's finest restaurants, due largely to these three chefs. Multi-award winning head chef Brad. Come on guys, let's make it happen, let's go. Cuts an imposing figure in the kitchen and is flanked by two young offsiders. Peter could be described as a Gen Y chef. It's all about attention to detail. He spends as much time researching radical new recipes online as he does at the stove. Josh is a renegade chef. I reckon I'm on the goods, I think it's going to work. And favours experimentation over established recipes. On 30 Minute Menu, these three guys will put their team spirit to one side and go head to head. In just 30 minutes, a group of mystery diners will arrive. Whether it be sumo wrestlers, kiddies or acrobats, I'm going to be ready for them today. There's no stopping me. I'm, I'm on. I'm hot. Looking up a few different recipes, a few different cuisines. Hopefully I can uh, hit the mark. The biggest surprise for me is to, to see who comes through the door and then from then on it's basically a game on. So the boys better watch out. Start the clock. Oh, Our chefs are about to find out who they will be cooking for. Catwalk models. Oh. <laughs> On. On. <laughs> and they're off. Whose dinner will be the winner? All right, I've got 30 minutes, let's go. It's on. Models, they love something classy. So it's going to be a nice little bisque, ravioli, nice and delicate. And then we're going to do a little prawn in there, a bit of uh, leek on top, a little bit of ceviche underneath, a little bit of cream. They'll love it. This is my type of food. This is what I live for. For Brad, it will be classy all the way. His prawn and tarragon ravioli will be coupled with a lamb croquette for main and strawberries and cream with a twist for dessert. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a little sashimi plate for the girls. Being Pat Wolf models, I know they're going to be uh, looking at that sort of thing. So I've got uh, some nice yellowfin tuna in there. I've got some ocean trout. Then I'm going to do it with uh, fennel. I think that's going to be all right for a start. For Josh, it's a healthy plan of attack. An entree of sashimi will combine with poached poussin for main and a summer fruit salad for dessert. Straight away, the crucial menu decisions are being made. So, uh, models. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with models. I don't even know uh, what they eat or if they eat. So, uh, <laughs> trying to get to a little bit of inspiration. Well, not all menu decisions have been made. I'm desperate for a win today. Um, my tactic is uh, probably fresh is best. A lot of fresh produce, just let it do its own thing. And hopefully the girls have got a half decent palate. Peter's finally up and running and heads to the pantry to get started on a novel approach for the models. I'm gonna give them something maybe they're not used to. I'm gonna try and fatten them up a little bit. You need, you need something about you, a bit of size. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get uh, a nice big piece of pork belly in. Bit of, bit of fatty piece of meat. It's flavorful fatty food for Peter. His glazed pork belly will pair up with a confit of ocean trout for main and a banana souffle for dessert. So we're just gonna rub in some salt and pepper, a little season with a little bit of, bit of oil as well, and then pop it straight in the oven. It's all about the love, really. You show the pork their love, and then hopefully it will show me love in return. So it's a healthy but tasty tactic for Josh. Peter is playing the high on taste but high in calories card, while Brad will attempt to woo the models into scoring him top marks with his posh nosh. But who will get it right for the models? 
food critics they are not, but these catwalk queens know exactly what they like. I love modelling and I also love food. Delicacies, I like to eat smaller meals and I think less carbs is always good for me. And what they don't like. Fruit, hate fruit. Unfortunately, in my line of work, you have to be really careful what you're eating. It looks like the pressure is on. Going to make a quick pasta. In terms of making pasta, it comes down to the pleasure of it. You're basically putting your heart on the plate. That's the way I always look about food. So it's always about um, giving something to someone else, which is always nice. What a guy. Thirty minutes have passed, and four ravishing and ravenous catwalk models are taking their seats. So it's full steam ahead in the kitchen. It's uh, coming along nicely. After it's been roasted, I'm just going to glaze it up a little bit. Figs are a fruit that goes lovely with pork, along with sort of apple and pear and all of those beautiful fruits as well. Time to plate up for Josh, but then again, he didn't actually cook anything. It's a beautiful dish. My aim is that a beautiful dish will suit a beautiful woman, and uh, I reckon that might get me there. Josh goes with a sashimi of ocean trout and yellowfin tuna with fennel, orange, and watercress salad. They're gonna eat that. Oh my god, seriously. Mate, models. I'm gonna be able to walk after this. Look at that. No, he's definitely gonna fatten them up. It looks fake, but it looks fantastic. Beautiful. It is like little prawn envelopes. We're holding in all the flavour with the pastry. Okay, so the tarragon prawns are on top, a little bit of mousse underneath, which we made, the fresh pasta. All right, guys, I'm going to put these in. I've got three and a half minutes, so let's go. What do we have here? Where'd he go? Wait. Hey, Pete. What? What? Haven't even finished it. These are delicate. <laughs> seriously. Don't mess with me, huh? You gotta love them. Seriously. I gotta win somehow. I oh, know. Hey. Well, it's the only way you're gonna win, mate. Back in your box, Pete. Time to plate up. This might be the biggest meal those models have ever seen. Looking good. For Peter, it's Figgy Piggy. Pork belly with fig jam and pork crackling. And Brad goes for a prawn and tarragon ravioli with soubise of leek and prawn bisque. The entrees are out the door. Peter is on green plates. Brad on red. And Josh on blue. Wow, that one should be going fast. I think we should go the pork belly fast. But how will it play out for the models?